welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Welcome to our first PU Computer Science online classes. Now in last class we know that some conversion that is about our binary to decimal conversion. In today's class also we are going to complete some other conversion that means the question or the topic we can say that in today's class also whatever we completed in last class the one conversion the conversion name is binary to decimal conversion now in today's class also we are going to complete the same thing okay now no any problem i think so the what's the topic and what type of conversion we are going to make from one to the another so the topic is the binary to decimal so even in a class only now yava conversion maartta iddeve binary in the decimal ige conversion aagta ide correct no as we know that the binary value using a large uh, large sequences of 1 and zeros correct no so here whatever the values are there in question just only i have taken the value the value are 1 and 0 but in today's or in this question no any zero if you want you can take it but my question is 1 1 1 1 fractional 1 1 1 and binary to the decimal conversion after getting the result we can say what's the result of the binary to the decimal conversion okay as we know that step 1 so what about this step in this case here this step 1 multiply each bit of binary number by its positional bit idu namma step 1 correct no from binary to the decimal conversion multiply each bit of binary number by its positional weight add all the products so now when you are going to convert we know that the positional value of the binary number system that is 2 correct no so here before the fractional i am going to take the positional value so 2 to the power of 0 okay and next for next one the 2 to the power of 1 the positive integers and 2 to the power of 2 for this one here and 2 to the power of 3 if more value if any next value is that then how we are going to give the positional value okay to any number maybe 1 or 0 if any number is there means 2 to the power of 4 so here no any value so i need to stop it here clear this part okay now after the fractional as we know that the positional value need to give us the 2 to the power of minus 1 and for next 2 to the power of minus 2 yavudakke kodta iddene one value we get correct no and for last value as we know that 2 to the power of minus 3 that means now just we completed the step 1 as we know that in our step 1 what the uh, line we need to write here in our step line we can say that multiply each bit of of binary number by its positional weight we already completed the step 1 correct no yeah? now such value after giving the positional value to each number depend on the position now i am going to represent such number as the 1 into 2 to the power of 3 so yavudu takolta iddene ee value annu nan 1 by 1 represent maartta hogta iddene clear this one 1 into 2 to the power of 3 into 1 into 2 to the power of 2 plus here yeah, 1 into 2 to the power of 1 clear this point here yeah, and later 1 into 2 to the power of 0 that means i completed till our 1 1 1 1 namge gottide positional value now already kottagide so every positional value i completed now whatever is that that means after the fractional just only we need to complete we need to represent the values here yeah. so now just only i am writing here after the fractional 
am going to take this value 1 into 2 to the power of minus 1. Correct no? 1 into 2 to the power of minus 1 plus. Okay. Now whatever the remaining part is there, I am writing here. Okay. This one, it is just in one line we need to show. But also uh, here, that means here just only uh, I am going to write this part, the remaining part here. So 1 into 2 to the power of minus 2. Okay. Hagadri idanu now complete maadi deve plus last ge uldadu 1 into 2 to the power of minus 3. That means we completed all those representation one by one depend on the positional values. Correct no? Now later next one now as we know that 2 to the power of 3. Hagadri is to term now multiply maadi beko. 3 times. So, he can multiply my 3 new. 2 into 2 into 2. Clear this point. 3 times 1, 2, 3. So, 2, 2 is a 4, 4, 2 is a 8. Clear this one. So, here we can say that. 2 to the power of 3 and the head 3 times now 2 and no multiply marbeko agabanda answer 8 clear this one and 1 into 2 to the power of 2 hagadre is to time 2 times correct no so the value will get as the 2 into 2 2 times here 2 2 is a 4 so we can say that the value uh, 4 here 1 into 2 as we know that just to one time we need to make the multiplication and as we know that 1 into 1 into 2 to the power of 0 it is very important note correct no 2 to the power of 0 always uh, the value is 1 only plus and later next one 1 into 2 to the power of minus 1 he can you talk about 3 the value is 1 by 2 clear this one 2 to the power of minus 1 the negative value that means we need to take the value 1 by 2 as we know that 1 rupees that means here half in 1 rupees the half means here 0 0.5 pi say correct no here so we can say that we need to take the value 0 0.5 plus and later next one as it is how I return here like that only I am going to write the value in your again I'm a complete agide so we already return the value okay now our first line now this is the contamination here. So, I am writing this answer here. Clear this one? Okay. And later 1 into as we know that 2 to the power of minus 2. So, here now use Marthewe. 2 to the power of minus 2. Yava can you multiply Madhwaga? 2 into 2. 2 to the 4. So, as we know that the negative side that means 1 by 4. Correct? No? 1 rupees early. 1 by 4 and the helidre 0 0.25. Correct? No? 0 0.25 paise kya. So, 0. 25 plus and later 1 into 2 to the power of minus 3 hagadre is to multiply madbeko 3 times and 2 and multiply madbeko aga yav answer birthday 1 by 8 clear here negative value is there as we know that 1 by 8 uh, 2 to the power of minus uh, minus 1 1 by 2 2 to the power of minus 2 1 by 4 clear this one 2 times we need to make the multiplication 2 to the power of minus 3, 3 times. So, 1 by 8. That means when you are uh, uh, dividing uh, 1 by 8 here, we uh, will get the value as the hour. Uh, here 1 into 1 into 0 0.125 clear this one the 1 into 0 0.125 here so this is the value here and later next one after that now we can say that now whatever is that the multiplication multiply each bit of binary number by its positional weight now add all the products 1 into 8 the value is 8 plus 1 into 4 the value is 4 1 into 2 the value is 2 here 1 into 1 1, the value is 1 plus 1 into 0 0.5 the value is 0 0.5 plus here 1 into 0 0.25 the value is 0 0.25 plus the last value is 1 into 0 0.125 clear this point here 1 into hagadre now illi helbodu no any problem because everywhere the value is 1 so no any problem while going to make the counting or while going to make the multiplication correct no here by using the value as 1. So, 8 value 1 into 8, 8 plus 1 into 4, 4 here plus 1 into 2, 2 here plus 1 into 1 that means the value is 1 plus here 1 into 
0 0.5 so 0 0.5 plus and 1 into 0 0.25 0 0.25 as it is correct now when you are going to make the multiplication with the value 0 0.25 with 1 here always the value is the same so lastly 1 into 0 0.125 so here we can say that when you are going to add 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.125 the value is the 15.875 clear this point 15.875 here and we convert it from binary to the decimal conversion so clear this point here so binary from decimal conversion the value is the 15.875 clear this one and that is converted to our binary to the decimal conversion so clear this point here how we converted here so the same rules going to apply it is very important conversion also from binary to the decimal conversion clear this one now let's will complete one more example the conversion from binary to the decimal conversion so idrali in rule use maadi deve now the same thing when you are going to convert from binary to decimal conversion as we know that what are the steps are that the same steps we need to follow as we know these steps these steps are multiply each bit of binary number by its positional weight correct no and add all the products so just only two steps are there Cur clear this one okay now let's will complete the next program okay yeah. and here also the question is the consider the binary number 11011 fractional 101 binary to decimal conversion okay binary to decimal conversion as we know that here what about the positional value that means i am going to start from the positive number okay here so first of all i am writing the positional value units value units and later next one the 2 to the power of 1 here and let for next number 2 to the power of 2 for next one 2 to the power of 3 and for last one is the 2 to the power of 4 as we know that maybe if any next value is there then sure you have to continue the positional value 2 to the power of 5 so eliyadru next ega just adara nantra ee one number nantra yavde one number illa so we need to stop it is it correct now eliyadru number ittidre now yen maartidive puna next one positional value kodtidive adre illi yavde one value illa this is the question number clear this one our now we know that in last class we completed the first one this one is the second example of the binary to decimal conversion and this is the third example of the binary to the decimal conversion that means after one no any value so we need to stop it uh, uh, we need to stop it correct no here so this is about the positional value and later next one is about our after the fractional as we know that how we need to provide the positional value to each number first of all 2 to the power of minus 1 okay and later for next one 2 to the power of minus 2 and for last one 2 to the power of minus 3 hagadre ella positional value kottu agide correct no kya so now we are going to multiply each bit of binary number by its positional weight now i am writing 1 into 2 to the power of 4 and later 1 into 2 to the power of 3 so nan illinda start maadidene ee one number annu nanu illi takondidene into 2 to the power of 4 correct no here and later now after that i am going to take the next number 1 into 2 to the power of 3 plus 0 into 2 to the power of 2 plus 1 into 2 to the power of 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power of 0 now also some other values are there so i am going to make the continuation it is not the complete line now also some representations are there about the negative side representation correct no 
and later I am taking the value 1 into 2 to the power of minus 1, 0 into 2 to the power of minus 2 and 1 into 2 to the power of minus 3. Clear this work here? Now later next one after that, okay, after that now whatever the values are there, is it clear to everyone how I completed, how I return the first line here? So just depend on the positional value, I completed this representation, clear this one here? Now whatever I return, now just I am going to take the correct value by taking uh, 4 positional value, by taking Three positional value like that here. So one into four times multiply Marbeko two into two into two into two. So four times. So when you are going to make multiplication, two to the four, four to the eight, eight to the sixteen. Is it okay? So this one is about our sixteen. And later next one, one into two to the power of three, three times two into two into two. So 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8. That means our 8 value we need to write 0 into 2 to the power of 2. That means 2 times. So no need to, I think to make the uh, multiplication. That means we can say that just only 2 times here. So when you are completing 2 times here, the value will get as the 4. So such value 4 I return here. Clear this one? Okay. And later next one 1 into 2 to the power of 1. That means 1 time. So 2 only 1 into 2 to the power of 0. The value is always 1 only. So clear this point? So, 1 into 2 to the power of 4, 60, clear, 1 into 2 to the power of 3, 8, plus 0 into 4 here, and 1 into 1 time only, so 2 I return, 1 into 2 to the power of 0, that is equal to 1 only, and later next one, now other remaining part representation, I am going to write it, I am going to continue here, clear this one, so 1 into, 1 into, uh, 2 to the power of minus 1. Yen heli dene hege value tokal beko. 1 by 2. Clear this one? 1 by 2 kya. That means the value is the 0 0.5. Correct no? And 0 into 2 to the power of minus 2. 2 to the power of minus 2. 1 by 4. So the value will get as the 0 into here. Uh, we can say that 25. 0. Uh, 0 0.25 here. So, and later the last value is about 1, 1 into 2 to the power of minus 3. That means 1 by 8. The value will get as the 0 0.125. Clear this one? The 0 0.125. So, when you are going to add, you have to check it properly whether all the values are proper or not. Maybe sometime it is the confusion while going to take, when you are going to multiply the value with the 0, always remember it. The answer is 0 only. So, your 16 value and later next one 8 value later what 0 into 4 and 1 into 2 and 1 into 1 and later 1 into 0 0.5 but 0 into 0 0.25 1 into 0 0.125 uh, ok lastly 1 into 16 the value is 16 plus 1 into 8 the value is 8 plus 0 into 4 when you are multiplying we can say that the value is 0 1 into 2 2 here 1 into 1 plus ok and later next one is the 0 0.5 0 0.5 and when you are multiplying 0 into 0 0.25 always the value is 0 and lastly 1 into 0 0.125 that means 0 0.125 value will get clear this one so just only depend on the calculation depend on the multiplication the values I calculated the value here. So lastly, we will get as the 16 plus 8 here. Okay. Plus 2 plus 1. Clear this one here. Plus 0 0.5. And later next one, after that 0 value is that. So 0 0.125. Yeah. So finally, we can say that the value is the 27.625. Okay. So as we know that here, that means such conversion from binary to the decimal conversion okay the binary to decimal conversion so we can say that therefore 11011 fractional 101 base of 2 here uh, that means is equal to 27.625 decimal to decimal conversion so clear this point here i think no any problem about the binary to the decimal conversion okay now 
after completing the binary to the decimal conversion now later we are going to complete the next conversion the next conversion name is the decimal to octal conversion clear this point here the decimal the decimal to our octal conversion in this case here now next conversion is the decimal to octal conversion i think every conversion that is from binary to decimal clear to everyone now let's go for the our next conversion decimal to octal conversion so before going to convert any value from decimal to the octal conversion first of all let's what are the steps okay so steps step 1 divide the given decimal number by 8 so whatever the number is that such number we need to divide by 8 clear this one step 1 divide the given decimal number by 8 step 2 note quotient and the remainder as we know that in last class what about the quotient and which is called as the remainder so note quotient and the remainder step 3 repeat step 1 as well as step 2 until quotient become 0 ಎಲ್ಲಿಯವರೆಗೆ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗಬೇಕು ಎಲ್ಲಿಯವರೆಗೆ ನಮಗೆ ಕೋಶನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಜೀರೋ ಬರುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲಿಯವರೆಗೆ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗಬೇಕು ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ 3 ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಹೌ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ದಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ 4 ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೈಂಡರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎಲ್ಎಸ್ಬಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೈಂಡರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಎಂಎಸ್ಬಿ ದಿ ಈಕ್ವಲೆಂಟ್ ಆಕ್ಟಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ that is from msb to the lsb clear this point here as we know that in our binary number which value is called as the or which value is comes under the msb as well as the lsb here so now just whatever the steps by using the same steps i am going to complete this program or this uh, problem here so arthai telarige yavudella steps again i am going to repeat listen it properly step 1 first of all here divide the given decimal number by 8 okay step 2 here note quotient and remainder step 3 we need to divide it by 8 until quotient becomes 0 step 4 the first remainder call as the lsb last remainder call as the msb and the answer going to write from left to right that is from msb to the lsb okay now let's about this one so when you are going to divide 459 by 8 so 8 5 are 40 correct here yeah? 8 5 are 40 now 59 left here yeah? so 8 7 are 56 clear this point here yeah? so that means 8 into 57 when you are going to multiply the value will get here correct no so we can say 8 into 57 the value is 456 okay the 456 here that means now also how many value remain here 56 456 means 57 58 59 3 remaining clear this point here artai teller again 8 and no divide mark 459 and no divide by 8 here when you are going to divide it will go 57 when you are taking 58 maybe it more here so 57 so when you are multiplying 8 into 57 the value is 456 okay so this value is called as the quotient and this value is called as the remainder clear this one 57 quotient value three value is the remainder okay now after that also we need to divide because we know that now quotient not equal to zero we need to divide it until quotient becomes zero so when you are going to divide so here we can say that in this case uh, it will go so eight in this case here we can say that in this case we can say that it will go so first of all here we So it will go 8 7 are 56. Correct now? 8 7 are 56. One is the remainder. Clear this point here? 8 7 are 56. Yeah. So actually the value is quotient value is 57. 
so one is the remainder and later next again we need to divide as we know that the quotient value is not equal to zero correct no whether it will go the seven uh, going to by eight here no we can say that no so that means we can say that we need to write the quotient as zero and such seven we need to write it here so clear this point here so we can say that this is conversion from decimal to the octal conversion decimal to octal conversion so first of all uh, divide by eight correct no here and note quotient and the remainder 5770 it comes under the quotient 317 is called as the remainder so clear this one so 57 anta helidre 8 7 sa 56 bantu so one is the remainder now it not going to uh, divide correct no kya it not possible to divide such value so we can say that we need to write zero and such seven we need to take it here and lastly we can say that the first remainder is called as the lsb okay the first remainder is called as the lsb and last remainder is called as the msb so first remainder 3 is called as the lsb and 7 is called as the msb the equivalent octal number is going to write or return from msb to the lsb that means the answer we can say that 7 13 okay and uh, uh, here we are going to convert to the octal conversion okay binary to the uh, sorry the decimal to the octal conversion so clear this one decimal to the octal conversion so decimal value 459 now converted the answer is the 713 how i completed from msb to the lsb so uh, left to right correct here so 713 so this is the answer of the octal conversion now let's after that after completing the decimal to the octal conversion now let's we are going to complete the next conversion the next conversion name is the octal to decimal conversion iga ellinda yavudakke now convert maartta iddeve now we are converting from octal in the decimal ge convert aagta ide okay kya now the question consider an octal number 2157 octal to decimal conversion as we know that octal number base is 8 decimal number base is the 10 correct no the decimal number base is 10 now this is the question 2157 2157 as we know that here no any posit that means no any negative value negative position value now everything whatever is that everything equal to the positional value only so for 7 i am starting the value so first tens that is called as the units value 8 to the power of 0 and later next one is 8 to the power of 1 8 to the power of 2 8 to the power of 3 as we know that we Because how we are going to convert this conversion by using some of these steps. So these steps are we can say that multiply each digit of uh, that means our octal number in this case by its positional weight. Clear this one? So multiply each digit of the octal number by its positional weight. Add all the products. So the same step we need to follow here. Clear this one? We already know. We already converted. That is from our uh, we can say that binary to the decimal conversion. So the same thing, but just only here we need to change the positional value. We need to use the positional value of an octal number so the first step in you again use martiri multiply each digit of an octal number by its positional weight okay kya the positional value of the octal number that is equal to 8 here add all the products okay now let's the positional value i started from the value 7 8 to the power of 0 5 8 to the power of 1 1 8 to the power of 2 and for the 2 8 to the power of 3 now just i am going to represent 2 into 8 to the power of 3 plus 1 into 8 to the power of 2 plus 5 into 8 to the power of 1 plus 7 into 8 to the power of 0 clear this point here 8 to the power of 0 now whatever the value is that i just multiplied here 
So multiply each digit of an octal number by its positional weight and later next one after that 2 into now how many times we need to make the multiplication that means 8 into 8 into 8 clear this one here. So when you are going to multiply 8 into 8 into 8 that means 3 times here 8 into 8 into 8 the value will get as the 512. Artha ito 512 value hege bandha do 3 times anno 8 anno 3 times multiply multiply mighty the nantra and 512 value bantu later next one 1 into 8 into uh, that means 2 times when you are multiplying the value will get as the 64 correct no so 8 2 times the value will get as the 64 that means we completed 2 times 8 into 8 so value will get as the 62 1 time 2 time here and later next one after that 5 into now no any problem how many times that means 1 time only so the value will as the 8 and 7 into 8 to the power of 0 8 to the power of none already held in a 2 to the power of 0 or maybe 10 to the power of 0 or maybe the 8 to the power of 0 or 16 to the power of 0 always the value equal to 1 only and later next one when you are multiplying uh, 2 into 5 12 correct no so 2 into 5 12 here so value will get as the 1024 clear this one 2 into 512 the value 1024 1 into 64 the value is 64 5 8s are so 40 we can say that 5 8s are 40 here ok the 40 plus 7 into 1 the value is the 7 clear this one and when you are going to add 1024 plus 64 here plus 40 ok plus 7 that means the value is the 1135 ok add Beko add all the products 1024 plus 64 plus 40 plus 7 the value will get as the 1135 but also it is not the final answer we need to write the uh, base value correct no so we are going to convert the octal number uh, 2157 to the decimal number so we can say that this is the answer 1135 it is the answer of our octal to the decimal conversion so clear this answer here ok now after completing this question 2157 that is from an octal number to the uh, decimal conversion now let us one more question we are going to complete the question and the conversion is the same that is from the octal to the decimal conversion idu kuda ee conversion kuda nan yavudralli use martta idene that means here just only i am going to convert the conversion the conversion from octal to the decimal conversion okay kya octal to the decimal conversion so kya first of all just to complete the octal to the decimal conversion as we know that multiply each digit of an octal number by its positional weight so after the fractional i am going to give the positional value 4 again 8 to the power of 0 3 again 8 to the power of 1 and 2 again 8 to the power of 2 correct no kya and fractional nantara now negative positional value takol teve 8 to the power of minus 1 and 6 again 8 to the power of minus 2 now iga yella positional value kotta agi de so step 1 namadu complete agi de that means our first of all before going to multiply if you know properly you can start it without giving the positional value but it very easy if you are using the positional value to each number very easily you can make the representation of the number clear this point here ok now positional value kotta adha nantra now yen maadthewe so just only representation maadtha hokti dewe 2 into 8 to the power of 2 ok 3 into 8 to the power of 1 into 4 into 8 to the power of 0 and plus 5 into 8 to the power of minus 1 plus 6 into 8 to the power of minus 2 clear this work here so just only whatever I completed by using the number with the positional number just I going to represent ok in first line 2 into 8 to the power of 2 plus 3 into 8 to the power of 1 plus 4 into 8 to the power of 0 plus 5 into 8 to the power of minus 1 plus 6 into 8 to the power of minus 2 and later next one as we know that 
2 into so how many times we need to make the multiplication 2 times so 8 8 is a 64 correct no 8 8 is a 64 kya the value 64 and 3 into 8 to the power of 1 ok so the value is 8 only 4 into 8 to the power of 0 8 to the power of 0 always the value equal to 1 plus 5 into ok here so we can say that 1 by 8 so what's the value the 1 by 8 means the value is the 0 0.125 clear this one 0 0.125 plus but 6 into 6 into here you have to remember it two times we need to make the multiplication so how we need to take the value that is equal to okay the value is equal to 1 by 64 two times okay you do one time so 1 by 8 8 to the power of minus 1 1 by 8 here 8 to the power of minus 2 2 times 8 and no multiply other start the 64 so 1 by 64 the value will get as the 1 by 64 the value will get as the our 0.015625 okay so this value so artha itellarige 0.015625 value hege bantu 8 to the power of minus 2 1 by 64 64 value hege bantu namge uh, 2 times 8 and multiply maadu beko 64 so 1 by 64 and later next one now you have to make the calculation 2 into 64 okay kya? 2 into 64 the value is 128 and later next one is 3 into 8 here so we can say that 24 plus 4 into 1 the value is 4 clear this point here and later 5 into 0. 125 125 the value is 0.625 clear this one here so e value 5 into 0.125 that means 0 0.625 and finally 6 into the value is about to work. what's the value in this case here we can say that this 6 into 0 0.0156 Okay, the value 0 0.09, 0 0.09 here, 375, clear this point here, so 0 0.09375 and later next one you have to do the addition, clear this one, addition, so 128 plus 24 plus 4 here, okay, and later next one is the 0 0.625 plus 0 0.09. 375 so the final value will get as the 156 point here and 156.717875 clear this one here yeah 156.717875 and we are going to convert to the decimal okay so whatever the numbers are there here 156.71875 so when you are going to Think about this number as we know that the decimal numbers are or the digits are the 0 to 9. So, here whatever the numbers will get that is under or in between 0 to 9 only. So, clear this point here. So, now just only this is called as the octal to the decimal conversion. So, we completed two programs, two problems, okay. That is from the octal to decimal conversion here. As we know this step, multiply each digit of an octal number by its positional weight, add all the products. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates.